Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my office and it is kind of late in the afternoon. I was holding off filming because I was hoping there would be a little bit more sunshine that would come out this afternoon, but it's still rainy and cloudy and hopefully everything is bright enough for you to see. You might be able to tell my Jane's Agenda Deluxe subscription box has had quite the journey to get to me. It was supposed to arrive on Tuesday, but we had a big ice storm in the Midwest, and so everything was delayed. Schools were shut down, so I knew it was going to take a few extra days. But besides the weather, I think it just must have been stuck in a pile somewhere or caught in something, but it made it, and thankfully everything inside is still in great shape, so no worries there. And I'm excited to dive in and share with you what is in the Jane's Agenda Deluxe subscription box for the month of February. So stay tuned for that and welcome to my office. Welcome back to my home. I'm so glad you're joining me today for another unboxing of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe subscription boxes. I am so in love with this company. I can't even tell you how excited I get when I know there's a new monthly subscription box coming. And even just opening my planner every day, I love the look of my planner now because I have so many beautiful pieces from Jane's Agenda. And not only that, everything is so functional and well-designed. So I don't see myself stopping my subscription anytime soon because so far every month exceeds my expectations and I just love it. And I've decided I think I'm someone who's one of my love languages is gifts. And so this is a little gift that I give myself each month is to make my planner a little more beautiful and functional with these awesome inserts. So this is the Jane's Agenda February Deluxe subscription box. There's some really awesome items in here. I'm going to take what is left of the box and set that aside, and then we'll dive into all these pieces and take a look. So every month we'll have a little small accessory pouch here that has all of the smaller goodies. My, my, uh, thankfully I didn't lose anything, but even the bag has become a little um, worse for wear through this shipping process. For some reason, this one, it was a really rough go of it. So we have the beautiful thank you card, which says February 2024. And I like how it sort of looks like a Polaroid and that'll be pretty to put in my planner. We have the little subscription box tour card and I like how they're doing things now where as a subscriber, I can log into my account on janesagenda.com and there's a separate section for subscribers only that has has all kinds of detail about the products. It's also where I can go to add things to my next subscription and see some of the leftover things from previous boxes that might be for sale and they're only for sale to the subscribers. So that's a really good place to go for extra information and extra goodies. And the card tells us a little bit about the theme of the box, which is talking about embracing mindful living and strategic time management. And this is something that has become a little more prevalent in my thought process and my daily planning. If you saw my new planning system, that's part of the change that I'm making is trying to be more intentional with my time this year, partly out of necessity because my schedule is even busier than before, but also just because I feel like I need to sort of reset and find a new way to sort of harmonize my home and my work life and get to where I feel like things are working a little bit better on both sides. So I'm going to set this aside. We've got that beautiful card there. I'm really excited about this. We have a washi tape, which we don't always get washi tape, but when we do, it seems like it's a really good one that I find a lot of good uses for that month. So this is the beautiful script washi tape in French handwriting, and I'm excited to have something like this. I don't have a huge washi tape collection, but I do have a fair amount, and it seems like everything I have is either a solid or kind of a floral design, something like that. I don't have anything like this where it's the script design, so this is going to be really fun to use in my planner. I can see having a lot of little tidbits like this where I just sort of tuck that in as part of the design. And it's reminded me of some of my French uh, class days. I took French for three years in high school, so I'm looking at some of these words and trying to remember if I can interpret them. So that's kind of fun too. 
All right, so we've got that beautiful washi tape, and then we have our two quote cards here. I'm saving the best for last. So this one says, it's not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. I think that's beautiful. This one says, live in the now. That's a great reminder. So we have these two beautiful items. I love that they're color coordinated and that everything in the box really seems to follow that theme of mindfulness and intentional use of our time, intentional living. So here we have this translucent sticky note and this is that pale rose color. And I think these are somewhat translucent but they're still some opacity to that where it would hide things. So you can kind of see it. Some things it'll show through and others it won't, but I think that's a beautiful shade. So I'm excited to have that to use in my planner. And I like this square size. I think that's good for just being a handy thing to have in the planner. And then this is something I'm really excited about. If you've been around for a while, you know that I love the friction pen. The Pilot friction pen is one of my favorite lines because it's erasable, but it's not like those erasable pens we had when I was growing up. This actually works really well. Doesn't tear up the paper. It's a beautiful pen to write with. And now we have it in this gorgeous rose color. I think this is so pretty. And I've been writing with this one a little bit. I was kind of sneak peeking it and just testing it out and it writes beautifully. It's the 05 size and that's my favorite to write with. It's just fine enough where I can write in some of the smaller sections in my planner, but it's not too fine. And I love that. So I'm really excited to have that new pen and I'm probably going to switch to that in my planner as I set up for the month of February. Next, we have something that all of these items could be stored in. This is a lovely pouch in the allegedly gray color. So this is their new vegan leather gray color on the Jane's Agenda website. You can get a wraparound cover in this. There's a few other smaller accessories. And now we have this beautiful little pen pouch and the zipper works really well. I really like how smooth that zipper operates. And then of course these smaller accessories like that, a few pens would fit in there. And I do like, um, it's nice to have a pen pouch like this that it's kind of a flat design. I have some that are the roll or the round design and those hold a lot, which is good. But sometimes when I'm packing things up in my work bag, they get a little too bulky. So this nice flat design is something easy I can use and it'll be something handy to have in that beautiful color with the rose gold zipper. Then we have something fun. These are some transparent sticker sheets. So we have one that is the little unplug symbol. So it's the little plug pulled apart and we can use those as a reminder to unplug. And then the second sheet has the word unplugged and both of those will be nice just to use i might use those like with my habit tracker or just on my daily planning pages as a reminder to spend some time unplugging being in the moment living intentionally and they seem like a really good high quality sticker so i'm excited to use those and give those a try then we have this beautiful same shade of rose gold look how well everything coordinates and this is another saddle stitched notebook this is the reflection journal so this is new I love this design. It's simple, it's functional, but it really is kind of thought provoking and gets to the heart of what you would want in a journal like this. So each page is one day. There's a place for the date. Then you have morning, midday, and evening, and then an overall section at the bottom. And it's just all the same page over and over again. And because it's undated, then it's no big deal if I just sort of stop and start pick it up when I need it, put it down and skip a day if I want to. I'll probably tuck this um, in the inside cover of my planner and just sort of pull it out throughout the day as I want to touch base on here. Then we have some dashboards and these are the functional dashboards. So the back of these is blank. That way you could use it for notes, makes it sort of universal. You could put it in any month you wanted. And we have three different designs. So this one is 30 ways to maximize time management and productivity. So it says things like how to prioritize your tasks, set specific goals, block time for key activities, limit time on low value activities, track time spent in meetings, schedule regular breaks, reflect daily. So some of the same things that we can see already in a few of the other items in the box are reflected in that. This one is mindfulness and presence. 
So it's inspiration and affirmations, things like I am in control of my digital consumption. I find joy and contentment in the here and now. Being present is my natural state of being and so on. And the third one is digital detox challenge. So it has things like set your phone to do not disturb mode during family meals, turn off app notifications for social media and email, designate specific tech free hours each day, remove social media apps from your phone for a weekend, just a lot of great ideas on how you can practice doing some digital detox. So I think those are really cool. It's something that will be good to add to my planner this month and sort of make it part of the monthly refresh. I think it's good each month to feel like I'm reevaluating what's working, trying to improve some things, and just overall, you know, using my planner in my day-to-day -day life to make things better. Next, we have this beautiful dashboard set. So we have a vellum that says February in that gorgeous cursive font number two at the top. Jane's Agenda at the bottom, and then we have two options to go behind it. This is the La Tour Eiffel, and that is a double-sided, so that could go under there. Or we also have the single peony, and that is the same way that's double-sided. So both of those are gorgeous, layered underneath for the dashboard, the vellum dashboard combination. And I think this could also work with the cover. I think this one is my favorite, La Tour Eiffel. I'll probably go with that in my planner for the month of February. But it's nice to have this beautiful single peony as just another simple way to decorate my planner just to make it pretty. Because some of what I like about having my Jane's Agenda inserts is just having some beautiful things in there that I enjoy seeing when I open up my planner. Next, we have something that I'm excited to try. If you have been watching some of the Master Plan Monday videos that Jane has been doing on the Jane's Agenda YouTube channel, one of them early on in the year, she talked about being intentional with your time. And part of doing that is tracking your time. So I spent a few weeks this month where I tried to do that more, especially the days when I was working from home. And it was interesting to see, you know, there were some days where I felt really busy, but then I looked at my to-do list and couldn't check off very many things. And then when I looked at my time tracker and saw where my time actually went, it was an interesting way to compare those two things. So I'm excited to have this. What I plan to do is to have the month of February and have these time tracker pages, this hourly planning page behind my regular weekly plan and my daily planning pages. So I'm just gonna keep these there to track my time. Of course, you could use these for future planning if you're someone who has a job or a schedule where you really need to track things and know when appointments are happening or you wanna do some time blocking and really see what each hour of your day looks like then these would be a really good insert to try. So from my understanding, we have from January to June in this subscription box, and then these will be coming to the shop in July. So that way, if I decide I like these and I wanna reorder, I'll have enough to get me through to July. And if you didn't get the sub box, then you can take a look for these to come out in July. So that is the weekly number 27 hourly appointments planning insert pages. So those are exciting to have too. Then we get into some of the monthly cover club items. So I'm just going to kind of bring the whole little stack here. We have the page finder and I think I noticed that this had a little, yes. So Jane was talking about how on one side you can feel the ink and then on the back side that's smooth, that's going to be the side that has the little film that has to get peeled off and this is a really pretty one I don't I'm not a huge lover of animal print but I like it for things like this as just a little bit of an accent I think it's a very sophisticated way to bring a little something different into the planner and especially paired with some of these florals and I really like the construction of this one it's a little bit thinner than like the cover we got in the January box so it's a little bit thinner plastic but 
it feels sturdy and they have the corners rounded and I think it's a beautiful design. So this will be really nice to have in my planner. I also like that the top is almost clear. We have a little bit of the design showing there, but if I was gonna label this, there's a lot of room to add a clear label from my label maker and keep that very simple so it would go with whatever theme I have going on in my planner. Then we have our dashboard and cover set. So these are double-sided where you can either have your cover look like that, and you'd have your um, modern painting there, abstract painting, or you can have the version with the peonies, which I love peonies. I think those are so beautiful. And then the cover itself is this sophisticated stripe that says it takes strength to bloom. And I think this upgrade to the cover is really nice. So this one isn't quite as heavy as the plastic cover that we got in the January box. It's just a little bit lighter and feels like it'll hold up just as well. I know she said these have the film on the back. So this is gonna be a clear glass cover with just that printing on the front. And you could layer it a lot of different ways. This might take me a minute. There we go. It's always so satisfying to take that off. And I choose to get the option with the elastic ribbon to keep my planner closed. So I'll show you that in a second, but I just wanted to see how these all layer up. So if you wanted to do it with the peonies, then you'd have that beautiful version there where it says it takes strength to bloom layered over the top or you could do it with the abstract design, and that makes it a really nice, neutral, and interesting cover option there. I actually like how it looked. Jane was showing it over the, this too, I think the single one looks really pretty under there. That might actually be my favorite, is just that one single bloom right under there. So I may go with that, we'll see. I haven't quite decided. So we'll take this film off the back of here. And it's always a little tricky around the grommet. There we go. And take that off. So then if you have your elastic ribbon, you can close up your planner and keep everything solid. And then this is beautiful when I open it up and I can see that decorative planner from Jane's Agenda. So as you can see, this box was another phenomenal box. So many beautiful, sophisticated elements for my planner, some really functional items, some beautiful decorative items, and altogether it makes my planner something that I'm excited to open each day. So I can't wait to set this all up in my planner. I will have the information linked below in case you want to check out janesagenda.com. You can use my special affiliate link. And I think right now you can sign up for the March subscription box. So the way it works is there are three levels to the subscription box. And whenever you sign up, you will have the next month's box shipped to you in about the middle of the previous month. So right now it is the end of January and I already have my February box. So the same thing will start February 1st. I'll get charged for the March subscription box and it'll ship to me mid-February. So it's a really nice way to get a head start on getting your planner set up and feel like you can start the month all ready to go with these beautiful new elements. It transforms my planner every month and makes it something that I'm excited to get in there and use and keep building my planner system and making it a functional part of my day. So I hope that was fun for you to see. Let me know in the comments down below how your month of January has gone. The way that the box arrived, I felt like, well, that seems to be on par with how the month has gone for me. It's been a really up and down kind of month. Some really good stuff has happened, but also we've had some down times and tough times and you know, that's just how life goes. But I appreciate you joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below. I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a good one and I'll see you then. Bye.